right? Lesson 75 is on writing fractions and decimals as percents, part one. So here we have, right, three hundredths as a percent. So a percent is a fraction written with a denominator of 100. So in this case, I already have a denominator of 100, so I can turn this right into 3%. Remember, percent means per 100. So 3 per 100. Okay? This one is right 3 tenths as a percent. So I need to change 3 tenths into a fraction that has 100 as my denominator. So I can turn it into a percent. So I need to figure out 10 times what is 100. Well, 10 times 10 is 100, so I need to multiply the top by 10 as well. 3 times 10 is 30. So I have 30 hundredths, so I can change that into 30 percent. Okay. So here we have, of the 30 students who took the test, 10 or 15 earned an A. What percent of the students earned an A? So here we have 15 out of my 30 students got an A. On this one, I cannot easily turn it into uh, a with a fraction with a denominator of 100 in this form. So I'm first going to reduce it. 15 thirtieths is the same as 1 half. Now this I can change into a decimal and a percent. I can change it to a fraction that has a denominator of 100. So I think 2 times what is 100? So 2 times 50 is 100, so I need to multiply the top by 50 as well. 1 times 50 is 50. So my percent would be 50%. Now we're going to work with decimals. So write 0 0.12 as a percent. So this 0 0.12 is 12 hundredths because the 2 is in the hundredths place. So it's the same as 12 hundredths. So this is already in the correct form, so I can just change it to 12%. Okay, So here we have 0 0.08 as a percent. And we know that the 8 is in the hundredths place again, so this is the same as 8 hundredths, which then we can change into 8%. Okay. This one is a little trickier. We have 0 0.8, and I need to write this one as a percent. Well, if I change this number to a fraction, it would be 8 tenths. But there's an easier way to do this, and that would be just adding a zero into my hundredths place. Okay, So this gives me 80 hundredths, same as 80 hundredths, okay? which I can just say is 80 percent. Remember, adding zeros after a number and after a decimal doesn't change my number. And that's all. Good luck on your homework.